What is up? I don't know if I've made a video about these before. Probably have, but these are evaporative coolers from United Metal Products made here in Tempe, Arizona. Fairly popular coolers. They use cell deck technology, basically a giant master cool. Uh, this particular model has 15 pieces of 8 inch deep cell deck. For a blower, they use a prop fan. Three horsepower motor. Um, I believe they used a prop fan because it is a heck of a lot quieter than a squirrel cage style. So basically these old suckers get made into concrete and like um, one dude couldn't even carry two of these by themselves with all the minerals and calcium. Where you can rope these up over the rooftop like nothing. They don't weigh like, they, it's like pressed cardboard. But they're cinder blocks. <laughs> after they run a few years here's the pain in the ass part with these coolers it's the water distributors they are up on top like a master cool except for these aren't made to come apart on top <laughs> they they uh they give you these little accesses to run a tube a brush down the inside of them that's fine and dandy except for if the calcium starts uh, plugging up on the outside like these your brush running inside there does not clean them you have to pull the cell deck out and then unbolt all this crap to drop it and flip it around to ream out all the holes so that's what i'm doing now these are awesome coolers except for they're also a pain in the ass and very high maintenance this sucks to do this in august <laughs> a co-worker wrote this one up he's a subscriber of this channel i believe but he wasn't the lucky one to come back and have to uh put the new cell deck in there now one thing on these is you have to watch the arrows it says uh up and that way for airflow. You want the 22 degree angle in and then you want the acute uh, 45 degree, which you can't see now because I put the cell deck in, but it's a sharp angle like that right here. That goes towards the outside because that's the water, so it carries the water to the outside. If you put these in backwards, the water will run inside towards the fan and then with the airflow, it'll just pull the water right down in the space. See, so I've cleared the uh, PVC and now this back side is definitely getting saturated with water so the sector will be cooling so much better than it was before oh this is a pain in the ass when it's over 100 degrees out so now all the cell deck pad is out and up against the wall we're 50 foot off the ground by the way um so there's 60 pieces here and what it is it's the 30 cell decks cut in half each one of these coolers takes 15 of those so one of these coolers was all the way over on the other side of this football field sized rooftop. <laughs> Just got done carting them like four or five at a time over here. Halves. You know, like I said, 15 of these per, per cooler cut in half makes 30 of these halves. So there's 60 here that we still have to lower. It's like lowering 60 large bricks now since they're full of calcium and minerals. They basically turned into cinder block. This is the kind of work we want to do there in the winter, but <laughs> I don't know. And these ones aren't the worst ones I've seen, so I think these could have probably made it to the end of the year, but our co-worker wrote them up. <laughs> and he was lucky enough not, not to be scheduled to come back and replace them. So uh, hopefully he watches this. <laughs> and just remember, unless we really have to, we want to try to get these, uh, save this kind of work until the winter. During a cooler shutdown, write this stuff up so we can do it during the winter.